Um, I'm Jonathan, this is my sister and co-founder Susanna. We both founded Explore B2B and the rest of our team is, we have one developer who's currently not here and that's our team. Um, we founded Explore B2B, which is a content-based social network for the business and B2B market um, based on publishing, sharing, recommending and uh, spreading of articles and business information. Basically, everyone who's engaged in the B2B or business market and interested in sharing his own content and information around the social web. <laughs> Long story. Uh, Zana used to work in strategic consultant, uh, consulting for um, larger companies and working for a consulting company. She had to market this company as well and basically it didn't really work. So we started playing around with the idea how could this work better and that's where the idea of a content marketing network originally came from and then we started making a concept for that that turned out to be explore b2b content marketing is basically marketing yourself with information you give out for free so your customers will come to you um, and ask for your help in what they are doing so Basically, it's a really good form of marketing in the business-to-business -business space and get yourself known for what you do best. We raised seed funding via um, the um, EBB, um, Investitionsbank Berlin, um, which is a state bank and it's state funds we have. It's basically a credit but on good conditions. And we didn't have to uh, give out any shares of the company for that, so that was nice. Um, yes, we are planning to raise more. Currently, we are in a bit of a situation where we are basically a bit back to bootstrapping again, but um, that will hopefully soon change. <laughs> that takes a lot of time. Especially seed funds in Germany are really hard and not as available as they should be. Um, as far as I found out, everyone wants to finance something that has a proven concept, maybe um, an original coming from the, uh, from the US, a proven market, but it's not really popular among German investors to do something new, which hasn't been done before. <laughs> we were born here. <laughs> we always lived in Berlin with short exceptions. Keeping the product um, up to date with the growth of the actual social network, with the growth of the content we have and with the actual traffic we have because that is actually getting at some point really difficult to scale the actual product up to more users. The most difficult part about the commercial issues is um, balancing growth and revenues because um, with the social network there's always um, you can head for the biggest growth and you can go for well there has to be some money coming in and then you can't focus only on growth you have to change a bit of your strategy so balancing, balancing that in an early stage of a startup I think is a real challenge well, we were never really huge. Um, we didn't raise so much money, so um, the team was um, with, with real employees in the office was five to six people. We always worked with freelancers, which we still do, um, because it makes you really flexible and, and that's an ideal situation for a startup, because you can react on upcoming situations in fast way and efficient way. Um, so um, scaling down was a bit of a natural process. Um, some employees just left for personal reasons and it fitted with our um, situation because um, right now our marketing strategy um, doesn't need so much work from thousands of people um, because we really um, got that working um, and that, as Jonathan said it's a kind of a snowball system 
um, we market the content of our users and the users market their own content and so um, with marketing their own content they actually do marketing for Explore B2B so um, getting this process running was the most difficult part and now it's running so we are growing with much less effort than starting the whole process never um, really um, have fixed routine be open to everything new you have to change and adjust daily and that's what makes working in a startup and having a startup so exciting and, and really uh, such a great way of spending your time <laughs> it has advantages and it has disadvantages um, so sometimes Fighting or having different opinions um, results in much harder discussions than it maybe would with different people. On the other hand, um, even if you have a strong discussion, we are still family, so we will still keep going. And we can just depend on the other one because we know each other so long. And uh, I've seen a lot of startups breaking up with friends because the friendship ended and we are still brother and sister <laughs> so it won't end <laughs> even though we are both mathematicians i think it's really well balanced jonathan is much more technical and um, he understands the whole product issue he can talk to developers where i don't understand this thing um, the business side I, I'm, I had to do a lot more with the business side before we started explore b2b and in the marketing part I think we are a great team because Jonathan has a lot of great ideas and I um, sort of um, am headstrong and uh, enough to make them work in the long run. So that's actually quite a good um, against them. Right now it's the two of us and Max, our developer. Um, we are actually open for people joining, um, especially in marketing but also in development um, depends really um, yeah you, you never know how it works out in the future but um, we would be open um, I think one of the great things um, for a lot of people in Berlin about Explore B2B is you don't have to speak German <laughs> you have to be fluent in English um, but watch movies where people made something happen and doesn't really have to be um, the startup hemisphere. It can be a movie about, I don't know, Martin Luther King. Um, so just people who believed in something and made it happen. I don't really think it's about helping us. It's thinking about what can we do together? What can we, um, can we do something together? Yesterday I got an email by someone who's working in marketing in, um, in UK and he's very young and um, he writes really good articles on Explore B2B and yesterday he wrote to me, well, uh, why don't we write something to, uh, together? It would be fun. And that is something I, I really like, uh, like about it. And in the end, it helps all. It doesn't just help us. If you think about what's helping me, I just owe you a favor afterwards. And it doesn't really work like that. If you do something together, we both win.